um, playing Mario Kart with my cousin Janice, who's relatively fresh compared to everybody else here, because she showed up like an hour and a half ago. We appreciate you being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, we need all the support we can get as far as streaming this long, because it, it it's very draining. There's a good choice. So what are the buttons again? Oh, I, don't remember. I think A is gas. No, it's not. B is gas. And then A is your weapon. There was nothing like this at the time. That sort of behind the back. And it almost looked 3D with the way that the, the tracks move around, or how you move around the tracks. every day so <laughs> okay um i've been on and off on co like i've never enjoyed coffee but um the realities of working in an office or yeah working in an office has got me to uh drink it for its functional benefits i started drinking coffee in university when i had to stay up yeah yeah, I did that as well. I tried weaning off coffee before, but yeah. <laughs> it's not happening. Hmm. I figure, you know what, it's not like I'm hooked on drugs or anything like that, so I think <laughs> a coffee addiction is fine. Everyone has their vices. And it's not like I don't drink, it's not like I'm drinking venti after venti. Because hmm. that's a little ridiculous. And I think then out of the game. I have I have a to I, did I tell you my DeMar DeRozan Starbucks story? Oh, something about uh, one of his assistants or somebody that was supposed to be assisting him. He wanted a coffee or a tea with like a ton of sugar. Yeah, it was in twenty it. sugars. But he wasn't allowed <laughs> yeah. as per the Raptor diet restrictions. Mm -hmm. Not so much restrictions, but uh, Basically, all the Raptor players are on the, while during the season on or on game days, or whatever. They're basically on a diet. Uh -huh. I mean, as they should be. They need to be in tip-top condition. But but twenty sugars. That's uh -huh. <laughs> that just sounds more of like an American thing. Uh -huh. um, I knew someone who worked at Tim Hortons, and she she told me about a time someone ordered something with twenty sugars. I. Don't put sugar on my coffee or on my tea anymore. Oh wow. I've gotten you you actually get used to it. I just see. just try it one day to not put sugar on your coffee. You're you you eventually get used to it, so I don't put sugar on my coffee or my tea anymore. I got no double bubble. I I think coffee tastes. And now good. if I want if I want if I taste sugar in my coffee, it's I think it's gross. Uh, I'm I, I think regular coffee. Black coffee tastes like tar. Oh no, I have to put like milk or cream in it. Yeah. Oh, it's not a good run. Oh, this one doesn't show like the map of where you are overall. Nope. I guess that didn't come in until sixty four. They, they didn't have the technology for that at the time. <laughs> but when did that start? Yeah, sixty four. Sixty four. We did not have Mario Kart sixty four, unfortunately.
So I just want to tell a quick story, okay. just really quickly. Okay. Um, so, as you know, Jet and Randy, their brothers, they've always played video games together. Um, so they've never, they've always shared consoles. There was never a situation where um, they, one of them, they had two of the same consoles, because they always put they. There were never any issues with them playing together. And then the day came where Jet moved out. And so what happened? They had to split up the consoles that they owned together like a divorce. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be able to, I guess Jet would be able to tell you as to who got what console when they divorced. Uh, yeah, I, I do refer to that moment as the great divorce uh, where we had to split all the stuff. Um, so there's been an update to that in the last year. Since we moved here, um, I got all the stuff back. So the way it split at the time was I got the regular NES and all the stuff. I got the Super NES and all that stuff. Uh, the Nintendo 64 and GameCube Randy got. And then Xbox 360. We actually had two 360s at the time. Um, my mom won one at her work Christmas party. <laughs> um, we just didn't use it because we just had the one and didn't need a second one. So he got the second Xbox, and then we split the 360 games based on what I bought and what he bought. Cool. Yeah. So it, it wasn't like, it wasn't a contentious or heated process. Like, once we knew it was happening, it's just like, okay, we just joked about it a lot, and I think we had a, a mutual understanding of what would go where. Now, that said, um, Randy got the Nintendo 64 and the GameCube, but when I had room to accommodate for all of that stuff, we don't actually know where the Nintendo 64 or the GameCube went. So, the Nintendo 64 here, I bought a couple of weeks ago, and we still don't have a GameCube. So they're they're somewhere lost in my parents' house, or they they're not in there anymore. We have no idea. Kind of a sad end, actually, to the story. But most of it is now here in the house, in a nice display case that I keep in the basement. Thank you for bringing up that story. No, I just thought it was an interesting story. <laughs> Because there are siblings out there that they just wouldn't share video games, period. Mm -hmm. or, or that, the, or they wouldn't even play video games together. I know of siblings, like one girl I went to school with, her and her sister, even though they listened to the same type of music, they couldn't, the older sister didn't want to share CDs. That's crazy. So she had to buy her own CDs, and this was before downloading or streaming music. That's ridiculous. Because I'm sure any most people would have the experience of fighting over, well it's my turn to play, no it's my turn to play. Okay, okay we got the sixth on that one. Something I, I noticed, actually, we can walk, maybe I'll show you a video afterwards. Um, people still, that NES Tetris, people still compete in that. The world championships for that game happened recently. Hmm. And the grand finals was um, this guy who's like a veteran in the competitive NES Tetris scene against a 16 year old kid who's competing in his first tournament. He was very good, but he was just competing in his first tournament, and he won the championship. The 16 year old. Yeah. He got to like level 28 or something. Oh wow. Yeah. I can barely get past like 
level 10, 12. Well, I think I could... I, I, I can't remember the highest I've ever gone textures. I think I might have reached 14, 15, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> It's because the it's just because the, they're going so fast now. So. Yeah. I've had this discussion a few times. I I feel like a valid case could be made for Tetris being the single greatest video game of all time. I believe it. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I've spent there's a bunch of hours of my lifetime <laughs> that were consumed by Tetris. I think Tetris has universal appeal in that it's, it's just blocks and no one's going to be like, I don't like the looks of, look of these blocks or blocks just aren't my interest. Um, it's a game that is easy to learn, very hard to master, and just the very nature of the game where it's explicitly designed that you're going to run into situations where they don't stack right and it's going to go to a, a speed and a pace where you just will never, you'll never solve or beat Tetris. Tetris will always win at the end, <laughs> and so you're always try, just trying to get higher and higher and higher. And then they put that booming noise that when you're old, when the game is over. Mm. Oh, you can do it. You can do it just past Peach and you get fourth. Mushroom. There you go. Top four. Great. Now I now, now I kinda wanna play some Tetris, but you just put in the SNES. Uh, yeah, we would have to hook up the original Nintendo and I'm not sure we'll be able to get that. Okay, well, I mean We have to restart the stream to get it to go. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing. Sorry. It's only what an hour, an uh, hour and a. We could do. Uh, it's Pui Pui Tetris is not exactly the same. It is Tetris. Um, it's a more modern looking Tetris, but it's not like classic OG Tetris. Um, can we close it out on retro stuff? We could do. Yeah, I don't have that many NES games. That's the challenge. Like, I have Tetris, I have Bionic Commando, I have Batman. Well, too bad Duck Hunt doesn't work on these types of TVs. Yeah. I'm sorry for yawning on stream. Please, un any, please understand. Do you have any Ninja Turtle games? Um, I have Turtles in Time, and the original Ninja Turtles game that I had, PJ's brother has it. Oh. Um, and then Ninja Turtles 2 I have, but it's broken. Oh. So just Turtles in Time. Well, the original Ninja Turtles game, that's hard. That's a hard game. <laughs> it's... You know, I still haven't gotten past the third level. I've never gotten past the third level. I, I get lost. Most people on the internet um, complain about the second level underwater. But I felt like with practice you could do that no problem. It's oh, that level. Yeah. You just have to not touch the... Because you know where you really lose points in that level is the, the seaweed. Yeah. That's where you lose all your points. Well, like, I'll lose your life. life. All you have to do is not touch the seaweed. <laughs> really. Of course, the seaweed's everywhere, but... Yeah. I know, easier said than done. <laughs> Other than that, it's, a re it's really hard. <laughs> uh, has anyone ever finished that game? Oh, yeah.
This is really interesting to get in. I mean, they would probably, Nintendo's lore would say like, that's not a champagne bottle, it's, I don't know, some sort of caffeinated, not caffeinated, carburate, carbonated beverage, but just the fact they are alluding to alcohol here. It's kind of odd. Are they? Well, like, it looks like a cup. <laughs> it's like the in racing when they do the the shit. Yeah. Okay. Let me whip something up. Let's drink real quick. Uh, take a look at the games. You can try something single player here if you want as well. <laughs> 